In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to retrieve data from your WordPress users into the widget creator by unlimited elements and create your own widget grid or widget list or anything you want to create from your user data. So inside of WordPress, we have users and each user has its own data. If I'm going to go into one of them, for example, you can see there are many, many fields over here which you can fill in and uh, retrieve the data using the widget creator. So I'm jumping inside of unlimited elements and over here I'm going to create a new widget. I'm going to call it a uh, user tutorial. Click tab, add widget and double click to edit. Inside of attributes, I'm going to add a new attribute and the attribute we're going to talk about is called users or users list. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to give it a name, just call it users. And I'm going to say include user metadata and include avatar. Click add attribute, it adds it. And now we can retrieve the data. So I'm going inside of the HTML. And over here, what we're going to do is to generate a loop a loop that will retrieve all the user data so on the right side this is the attribute we've added which is called user list I'm just gonna click on it and what it does it creates a loop with all the fields that users can have now for example purposes I'm not gonna use all of this we don't need all of this for the example but you can see that you can bring in uh, about any field that you have inside of the WordPress users. For the example, what we're going to leave in is only, uh, let's leave in the name, the role, and maybe the image, which is called avatar URL. Perfect. All the rest I don't need because this is what I want from my exact widget. I'm going to click update to save and in pages I'm going to go to add a new page and over here I'm going to edit with Elementor and I'm going to search for the widget that uh, I've just created which is called a user's tutorial or user tutorial. Great. So let's search for it in the left widget pane. Here it is. I'm going to drag it inside. And right now you can see over here on the left side that these are the fields that are added. And the first one is select roles. This is saying bring in any role type I have. Uh, right now we have, we have three role types. One, the first one is administrator. The second one is a subscriber, and we have also an editor type role type. So it's bringing in all of them. You can exclude one type if you want. And it's bringing in our full user list, name, role, and avatar for each user that we have in our WordPress website. I'm going to click, click publish to save, and I'm going to jump back in over here. Now to style this a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a div which will also be looped so each one of these are going to have a div and we can give it a little bit of styling so let's say padding 10 pixels and margin 10 pixels and let's give it a background color And that's about it. I mean, you can continue styling this. And for the avatar, you can see it's bringing in a URL. Now, we don't want it a URL. We want it to show the image. So to make it show the image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open an image tag with a source. And the URL I'm going to put inside of the source. Perfect. Now we can delete the label. And after that, we want a BR. I'm going to delete the user label, 
after that another BR and we're going to show the role. Now this is very flexible because you can put inside of here any HTML you want. For example, you can wrap each one of these in a div and also style them. And we can make any one of these as attributes so they're editable. But let's see what we have till now. So we've saved. I'm going to refresh. And let's see the output. Perfect. Now that's looking better. So I think you get the point. This is a, was a very basic tutorial just to show the to show you the capabilities of the user list attribute. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and see you next time.